Today I present a case of overlapping technique. It means uh, uh, deployment of the Evolute R uh, core valve in a patient that we try to put in a position different that we have been using uh, lately. So with this position, we have a better alignment and uh, we do believe that we can decrease the pacemaker implantation rate. This uh, innovation is not an innovation itself. We are modifying the technique that we have been using for the past probably 10 years. But with this new technique, we are decreasing the pacemaker rate. In a, a survey that we did in Latin America with low volume centers, we have done 240 cases and the pacemaker implantation rate was below double digit. It means 4%. I think the greatest innovation in TAVI today are different, uh, I mean, uh, devices. We can select uh, each device uh, for uh, different uh, patients, different, uh, different anatomic situations. And I do believe with the evolution of the new devices, with a very low profile now, we have a better closure devices also, and we are decreasing the complication rate. The procedure is uh, almost a PCI-like procedure with, I mean, uh, conscious sedation. So I think with this uh, evolution, we can uh, offer this uh, new technology to many other patients. Another recommendation, uh, according to the guidelines, uh, can be done for the uh, non-surgical candidate, also for a high-risk patient, but now, with the new evidence, we can also offer a TAVAR or TAVI for patients with an intermediate or low risk. Unfortunately, I am living in Latin America, or fortunately because Latin America, but the economic situation cannot uh, allow us to offer TAVI for low risk patients. So we are only doing high or very high risk patients. But I think in the near future, TAVAR is going to be the default technology for patients with aortic stenosis. For sure, TAVAR is going to be the default technology. We have to consider that there is not a single paper saying that surgery is better than TAVAR. Uh, so for the next uh, years, I think technology will become the, the, I mean, the default technology for all patients with aortic stenosis and suitable anatomy. Probably you have to research a little bit more about, about different situations like aortic regurgitation or uh, patients with bicuspid valves. I think the unmet needs uh, regarding TAVI uh, refers to different anatomic situations, as I have already mentioned, patients with bicuspid valves. And also, probably, we have to prove a little bit more about the durability. I mean, the first two limitations to not offer TAVAR to everybody are, in my opinion, only two. First, it's going to be economic, because it's still more expensive than surgery. And the second one, this is going to be very easily solved in the near future. And the second is durability, especially if you are thinking in low-risk patients, especially for those who are younger, I mean younger than 70 years old. For these patients, I think I need a little bit more follow-up to offer to everybody.